Hello everyone, this is GamePro24X, and today the next event has started, and, and I'm here to regretfully tell you all that it is Bound Dragons. So, Bound Dragons is going to be here from the 9th all the way up to the 23rd, so you have about two weeks to get everything done. So, the tasks that we have today are Neutralize 3 Guards, Fulton 3 Guards, Neutralize 9 Guards, Shoot a UAV from 60 meters or more in the weak spot, and do this with a Staff Rank Bonus of 1.01 or higher. We're going to do this in the Medical Platform, as always. So, our loadout today is going to be the MRS-4, just to help deal with a certain camera that we might encounter later. The MRS-71 rifle with the sleep grenade launcher just in case if a group sees us or something. But this is going to be our weapon for taking out the drone from far away. Our secondary is going to be the riot pistol. So if you guys have it from the other events, this is the best time to use it. And we're going to be using the grade 7 version because in all honesty, the other versions, you don't really need it that much. And they, they cost a little bit more than they should be. We're also going to be using Active Decoy. And we're going to be using the Grade 7 Sleep Grenade. We're also going to be using some Noctos Dianin. And we're going to need to get a staff member who's 1.01 or higher. So right here, Brass Wallaby is 1.06. And he also has the Climber ability, which is going to come in handy for when I'm scaling the pipe later. And I'm going to be doing this with the Raiden suit, because we are going to be repeating this mission over and over, so better get used to speedrunning. So after you have just appeared and popped some pills, immediately run down this bridge. Always go into a quick dive and crouch when you're at that segment, or else you might get caught from another person. Toss your active decoy, just so it can catch some attention. Now sometimes this guard here will be strolling back here and sometimes he won't. But that is why the riot pistol shines here. Because it doesn't give off a lot of alerts and you can easily sneak right past everyone without anyone paying attention. Now be careful with this camera here. If it does notice you, be sure you have your rifle ready. But if not, you can just keep on running. And this is that pipe that I mentioned earlier that we'll be scaling. Now be very careful when you're crossing this area because there are times when guards are not looking at all and there are times when people are right there and you can't really do much. But from across the way you can go ahead and snipe the UA drones. And that right there is why I like rigging this riot pistol. It easily dispatches these dudes and it doesn't make me a big target and it's real easy to pull off. So, like I said, this is probably the best weapon you could ever use in this event. So after tossing a few sleep grenades, you should have knocked out everyone by now. Thus knocking out a total of 10 staff here in this platform alone getting you the task done and now it's time to fall in all three of them now always be sure that you get the final task ding before you head inside because if you're in the middle of faulting someone and you head inside there you will not get you will not get credit for the task Extraction arrived at Mother Base. So as you can see here, we've earned back the amount of plants that we used during this mission and gained back a little bit more. So this is a good place to farm some plants with the current loadout. You also get a nice hefty sum of GMP as well. And for every time we do this, we're going to get 13,977 event points per run. 
which in all honesty is not that great. I'm going to go ahead and leave all the info on the screen above for how many times you have to do this. But the rewards that we have today is the Mira 71, the grenade launcher. This is the one that shoots out a cluster of grenades at a time. We also got some new colors for outfits, along with the previous swimsuit and a new swimsuit. So we have pink swimsuits now. Along with a bunch of colors that I'm surprised I didn't get. And also a quiet emblem. And now that I remember it, if memory serves, the first time Bound Dragons came around, I didn't know how to do it. And I was very frustrated and I just gave up on it entirely. And I think these were the same exact colors and emblems from that event. And it's so trippy knowing that, like, holy crap, like, it's almost been an entire year of doing this. And now uh, it's back again. And now I'm actually able to get all this stuff. Unlike last time. We also have an Eli emblem part, so I'm starting to get the idea that Konami's going to start adding more bits or more rewards every single event. That way we can buy more at a time. But yeah, that's practically it. I hope this guide helped you all out. Um, good luck with the event, because I know a lot of people don't like it and I know it's very frustrating. But if it eases your frustration, I will be doing a stream later today. Check in the description below for the event information. And hopefully I will see you guys there. But this is GamePro24X, and I'll see you guys later.